Hey guys, I hope you are doing well and welcome to another video. In this one, I'll show you how to make snow for your level using Niagara. Using this system, you are able to make a snowing effect like this with only a couple of clicks and also have complete control over it and make them exactly as you want. So let's jump right in and see how it's done. Here in the content browser, right click and make a Niagara system. Select new system from selected emitter and hit next. These are basically the templates that are provided by the engine itself. So you don't have to make everything in the emitter from scratch. We can use some of these guys here for our purpose and achieve what we want. The one I want to use in this video is the simple sprite burst. You can use the fountain as well, but the simple sprite is easy to understand and simple to work with. So select it and hit this plus icon here. Hit finish and then let's name it snow and open it up. Here in our Niagara, you can see that we have a module based workflow and what we want to do here is to play with these modules and achieve what we want. It's kind of like a blueprint which you have some blocks of code and functionalities and you connect them to each other to create what you want. So here we are going to do the same and by deleting, adding and editing these modules, we are able to make our snow falling effect. Here in the preview, you can see that we already have a white circle, which is perfect for what we want. And by doing some adjustments, we can turn it into a snowfall effect. First, we need to change the emitter state from once to infinite. It means that it will repeat the process and won't stop after it's done only once. Then we want to spawn a lot of snowflakes and we don't want to have only one particle. So remove spawn burst instantaneous and add a spawn rate instead. Just hit this orange plus icon and in the suggestions, you can find spawn rate. Let's bump up the value to a thousand. And now here we have a thousand snowflakes instead of only one. But the problem is that they are being spawned exactly at the same location. We want to spawn them at random locations. And in order to do that, we need to add another module. In the particle spawn, hit this green plus icon here. And in the suggestions, choose shape location. Now you can see that they are being spawned in a sphere and we are getting close to what we wanted. Here you can choose different shapes, but the sphere is fine. And in this case, we don't need to change it. The thing we should change here is the size of the particles. They are extremely big and we should scale them down. So select the particle spawn and then here in the uniform sprite size, put the size on 1.3. All right, now it's looking much better. What we want to do here is to make them move. So here in the particle spawn, hit this plus icon. And again, in the suggestions, select add velocity. This basically makes the particles move and we are also able to control the direction and the speed of their movement as well. We want it to go down. So put the Z value on minus 100 and you can also play with the speed here and set it as you like. All right, now let's stop changing the settings for now and drag the Niagara system into the level to see how it looks so far. Yeah, it's looking great and we only need to make some little adjustments to achieve a good result for our project. Our first problem here is that they do not reach the ground and their range of movement is too small. In order to fix that, go to the particle spawn and increase that lifetime to something like six. Then in the velocity module, let's bump up the speed a little. And now you can see that it's reaching the ground with a rather natural speed. Another thing here is that we need to make the area in which the spawning is happening bigger. So in the shape location volume, just bump up the sphere radius and put it on something like 500. Yeah, it's looking great. And the last thing you can add to make it look even better is to randomize the movement of the snowflakes a little. They are coming down in straight lines, which is not natural. And in order to fix that, all you need is a force module. In the particle spawn, go to the force section and add a curl noise force. Here hit fix issue and now you are able to play with the force and randomize the movement of the particles. Just to showcase the effect, I'm gonna put it on a really high value. And now you can see that how it affects the particles. It randomizes their movement, which is exactly what we want. 
but we want it to be a very light effect so put the value on something like 80 and now you can see that it's looking much better and more natural now we have all the items we need and from now on you only need to play with the values we discussed and achieve the best possible result based on your project here if you bump up the spawn rate you can have a dense snowfall and you can also add other forces rather than the curl noise to see what happens and how it looks yeah that's it for this one and i hope you learned something new from this tutorial thank you guys for watching see you in the next one